The United Nations and the U.S. State Department have called on Israel to carry out a full and transparent investigation into the deaths of two Palestinian teenagers. The pair, both apparently unarmed, were shot dead an hour apart during protests in the West Bank town of Betunia last Thursday. Security camera footage has now emerged of these incidents. Well, Saeed Shahata from the BBC's Arabic service joins me now to explain uh, the circumstances. Yes, tell us more of what this was about, Saeed. It was a protest. Uh, last uh, last week on 15th of May in the uh, anniversary of uh, establishing the state of Israel, what's he called in Palestine and Palestinian, the Arab, and Nakba, which is the catastrophe for Palestinians because Israel was uh, based on their uh, land, according to the Palestinian and the Arab. Uh, so there is some, uh, about 200 people went there near a uh, 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 prison and to protest. Uh, and they threw some stones in order to protest against the uh, for the anniversary against Israel. Uh, let us now uh, look at the CCD footages of what happened. Uh, here from the footage, it looks like the, uh, one of the uh, Nadim uh, Nawara was like uh, shot and then like some people like bystander came uh, to help him and they were dispersed very quickly because they fear from uh, any uh, live ammunition or uh, live fire against them to come. So they, they went very quickly after they tried to help him. So you can't see Israeli troops, but you see him just drop and you saw a similar incident with the other teenager. That's right. And uh, this like raised questions about like uh, the Israeli army, how they deal with the uh, with kind of protest. Uh, the Israeli army uh, spokesperson said like there was no live uh, fire was used. And, but the footage is saying, and some like uh, witness saying, no, there is life around in the hospitals uh, report. So this is a case. In this case, you know, like the United Nations and the U.S. They called for a transparent and full investigation because the investigation of Israel was found like there is no life uh, around was used or life fire against uh, uh, this young person and the other one who were uh, were, were, uh, were killed. Uh, so there is a pressure on Israel to uh, open full investigation, and there is no response from Israel so far uh, because it says the investigation is not complete so and just briefly I know the answer will be different in Israel and outside it but what sort of reaction are you seeing public reaction no the reaction will be uh, as usual like it's uh, the Arab are uh, are angry because of that and became like a habit like killing like uh, Palestinian people like was not like something new but it's still like human reaction and like uh, it needs a pressure from the international community uh, to open and see what exactly happened because like the Israel said uh, the footage was edited in a biased way but like the other uh, uh, side of the Palestinian said no, no, it was like uh, a real uh, picture and was not edited. So the investigation, which called by the U.S. and the United Nations, I think will reveal uh, the whole truth about this, uh, this incident. Well, thank you for talking us through it. Saeed Shahata, thank you. Thank you.